As soon as I start the video, a train starts going by. Oh! I thought it was gone. Hey guys! I've been wanting to tell you guys all about how I found out, all the fun details that come with, you know, finding out you're pregnant. I think the most asked question I got was what made me test since I wasn't planning because I did mention in my caption on Instagram. So I actually use the Flow app every single month for my period. I usually get a notification before my period's about to start and then if I'm late I do get a notification. Now some months I am three days, two days late and then I'll start. So when I got that notification I was sitting at Walmart. We were actually sitting at Walmart in the parking lot waiting for Eric. Sometimes we'll make a family trip or he'll go by himself. I was sitting in the parking lot and I got the notification and I texted Eric my periods like can you just get a pregnancy test like usually I wouldn't even tell him that I don't know it's weird because I really wouldn't usually tell him that but I was like maybe you should because it doesn't feel like it's in coming I tell him get the 88 cent one just we'll get it as a precaution and then I'll take it I actually didn't end up taking it that night because I went to the bathroom and I was just like no, I'm not even gonna take it. I'm not pregnant. I'll just wait until tomorrow. So the next day, of course, it doesn't come. We're driving in the car and <laughs> again, taking a family trip because that's how we get out of the house. I was like, man, this is like the fourth day in a row that I have really, really wanted. Old Bay Rub Wings. There's a specific bar near me that sells really good ones. And I was like, I need these freaking wings. I need them. I was like, whoa. This is like the fourth day in a row I've needed them. It's a little suspicious. So then as soon as we got home and we started eating, I went to go get a drink and saw that we had party cups left over from a birthday party. And so I just took one since I could throw that away afterward and went upstairs and took the test. And of course I looked down and it has two lines. And at first it didn't click. I was like, what does pregnant mean on a test? Because I just, you know, I haven't taken one since I was trying with Ellie. I look at the box and I'm like, <laughs> right after I took the test, I took a picture, sent it to my sister-in-law, she was the first one I told, sent it to my best friend Kirsten, she was the second person I told, and then I called up Eric because I was just like, I kind of started to panic. I was like, oh my god. There's no way that I could keep this secret from him. It was kind of just like a shock. I call him upstairs, I just put it down on the dresser, I don't say anything. He just looks at me and starts smiling. <laughs> I googled what my due date would be because I knew my exact last menstrual period date. Thank God for the Flow app, guys. So I was able to get my exact due date, which is February 13th, by the way. The other question that I got a lot was, when are you due? So I'm due February 13th. It's right around Andrew's birthday. He will turn eight February 10th. So um, that's just crazy. So of course, like my, the first thing that started to go through my mind, because I knew my due date then, um, our lease is up in March because we rent. We really, really want to buy a house and I feel like it's crunch time now that we like we really need to get on the ball with everything. It's kind of a kick in the ass. So thankfully, everything happens for a reason, you know what I mean? We also need a three row car. We just bought a RAV4, so that's a more spacious like hatchback car, but it's not that much more spacious. Brayden is so big. I have to show you guys him. Uh, he is actually at his Grammys right now, which is Jared's mom, but he is is just so big and he doesn't really fit in the back seat with all three of them back there we just we need a three-row car now and that's another thing like we have to get we have to find one after a few days I started getting super excited though and started looking at all the baby things and just thinking about it so I ended up telling the boys the same night as I told Eric's family they were there with us during the whole thing just because we hadn't sat them down and told them everyone was shocked everyone is excited but um, everyone was shocked and my father-in-law said my father-in-law said are you ready for four and I was like no sure I am not I think that's the thing that's taken the hardest to hit me is that I'm gonna have four kids four so at first Brayden and Andrew weren't really phased like I feel like they didn't really get it um, but then like I started talking about it the next day like guys there's a freaking baby in my belly Brayden was asking a whole bunch of questions and after like a few questions he got so happy he started happy crying it was so freaking cute and then Andrew he doesn't really like to show emotion so like Brayden he has his heart on his sleeve but then Andrew he kind of likes to stay reserved he shows it in different ways he asked me every single day to look at the baby app and see how big the baby's growing um, which I'll show you which apps I use. So I use the bump, which is this one. It, it shows you the size of the baby every week. And so this week I'm nine weeks pregnant, exactly. Um, I, 
today is Saturday. I switch over on Saturdays, so nine weeks pregnant today. I just like how this one like looks aesthetically pleasing. I use Pregnancy Plus too, so this is what it looks like. And it shows you what the baby looks like on the inside. So this week, oh my goodness, it's growing bones and eyes and earbuds. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at the nostrils. Oh my God. So he wants to look at it every single day and ask to see it. Even though he knows, I told him, it switches over every week, he still wants to look at it every day. The kids are really super excited. Ellie is only two, so as for her, she doesn't really understand. But when I tell her that like, hey, mommy has a baby in her belly and hey, you are gonna be a big sister. You're gonna have a little brother or a little sister. She'll say, no, no brother. No sister, it's so cute. I gotta get it on camera. Okay, as for my symptoms, I have been super sick, super nauseous, not worse than other pregnancies. I think with Ellie, I was the sickest out of all my pregnancies. I got progressively worse with Ellie. I didn't like start out really rough and then it get easier. So I'm sick, but not super, super sick. I did have a few days where if I switch positions in the bed, like at all, I would get super nauseous. And that there are days that I'm not nauseous at all. So today is a good day for me. I haven't felt nauseous and I ate a pancake as soon as I got up. So something was on my stomach and I was able to keep it down. I also have very sore boobs. Like I can't really even, I mean, it's not too bad today. Some days they're just super sore, especially when I'm laying in bed, they're just extra sore. I'll take off my bra at the end of the day. Oh, I'm also extremely thirsty. I've been drinking LaCroix after LaCroix because I love the grapefruit LaCroix. I do like a good Coke. The first few days I was drinking Coke and throwing it back up and it turned me off to it. So I've just been drinking strictly LaCroix and water. Oh, also my skin has been horrible. My chin and my cheeks right here have been breaking out a lot. I got something on my forehead, which I usually don't, I don't even know where it is. I usually don't get anything on my forehead and then I got something on my neck. I've been getting cystic pimples again. I used to have really cystic acne like before I met Eric and I got rid of it, but it's been coming back. Okay, so let's talk about the gender here. I already have my scan planned. So what we're gonna do this time is not find out at the scan and we're gonna give the envelope to my sister-in-law. We're gonna have a gender reveal party. I have it all planned out. I can't wait for you guys to see it, but it is going to be August 15th. That is the day of my scan. So to go along with that, am I hoping for any certain gender? No, I'm not, I really am not. Do I have an intuition? I do. I do have an intuition because of my cravings. I would enjoy either. I would love to have a little tiny mini Eric, and then I would also like to have another girl, of course, because for one, we have a lot of stuff with Ellie still. I'm sitting right in front of the door. You sure the toilet closes late? I don't know. Look it up. I feel like the same thing happened. I, I know, but I feel like they went back to regular hours. Here, I'll look it up right now. 10 p.m. Oh, baby. What? 7. It's 8 o'clock. Yeah, it says 7. 7? Yeah. That's not what mine says. Does it say updated COVID hours? Mine says updated COVID hours. Where? Nowhere. It's just 10 p.m. I hate you. I, I even went to their website. I was like, no, it says 10 p.m. <laughs> no, I want to finish this. I'm almost done. Hi. Look how pretty you are. You sleeping? Did you have a good nap? Hi. <laughs> was it good nappy? You want to see? Oh, your mama. Check. We can do pretty. Hi, baby. Did you have a good nap? Any diaper change? Did you have a good nappy? Huh? Did you have a good nap? <laughs> You're so sweet. Change. You want a diaper change? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. 
<laughs> Who's that? Little bit. That's the baby yay. Yeah. Say that's me. Mommy, I'm a baby yay. Baby yay? Say that's me. It's a mommy. <laughs> I'll see. <clears throat> you want to see? That's you right there. <laughs> so pretty. You see you're pretty? Huh? Ellie. What? You see you're pretty? Um, no, it's a one that's not what pretty. <laughs> on camera. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's go, Mommy. Let's go. Hey, say cheese. 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 Say, Mommy, say cheese. Are you taking a picture? Okay, so like I was saying, I have a ton of things left over from Ellie that I can use if I have a girl. So as for my sickness, do I have any remedies or anything like that? My first appointment, which was my first ultrasound, was July 7th. So at my first appointment, I told her I was super nauseous and she said that a good thing to do is B6 and Unisom together. So you take a vitamin B6 and a Unisom at night because obviously it makes you sleepy and then you take another B6 in the morning. So a B6 in the morning, B6 and Unisom at night. She said that'll work. So I'll update you. I just got Unisom yesterday because I couldn't find it anywhere. I got the B6, no prob. Everywhere around me was out of Unisom for some reason. Another question I got was that if I'm nervous because of the times, yes. Not only just like the pandemic, but everything that's just going on in the world. It just makes me more and more worried, but also lets me know that I know how to raise my kids to not be little assholes. Like Brayden mentioned the other day to me that Kanye West is running for president. I'm like, this is something that he's gonna remember. He turns 10. He turns 10 in three months. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm also nervous for birth. It's different every time. Labor with Ellie was super easy. I got induced, but I'm at a completely different doctor's office this time. I feel like the doctor that I got, I got lucky because I wasn't even 40 weeks yet and I said, I'm just super uncomfortable. And he was like, no prob, I'll, call, I'll make some calls. And he came back in like 10 minutes later and said, tomorrow at 7 a.m., go there and get induced. I had her by three o'clock the next day. Andrew just put on Moana, I can hear it. So that's it, guys. Um, I guess I can show you my belly. I'm not really showing or anything like that. I already have just the mom pudge, so I'll just show it just for comparison purposes for when I do start to show. I'm just sitting on my bedroom floor. So, yeah. I just have a little mom pudge that shows through my leggings. Did I ever tell you about my cravings? I don't think I did. My mommy intuition goes along with my cravings for sure because I'm craving the same things as I did with Brayden and Andrew. Burgers, steak, Taco Bell, Chipotle. Chipotle was with Ellie too. With Ellie, I got an aversion to guacamole so I didn't really eat it that much when I was pregnant with her, but I have been really wanting it with this pregnancy. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I touched on everything. If I didn't answer any of your questions, just leave them down below. I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a great day. I'm gonna go get Chipotle now. Hell yeah. <laughs>